Simon, thanks very much for the invitation on your stand here at EMO 2021. WFL, great innovators of Milton Solutions, but the M20G, can you tell me what this machine represents and where it fits into the marketplace? Well, firstly, Mark, it's great to see you here at EMO 21. Um, it's a long time since we've been able to stand here live at an exhibition, and it's uh, a great feeling and a lot of energy around the halls, just seeing people meeting each other again, having spent so long on Teams and Zoom, etc. So absolutely great to be back at an exhibition, first of all. And uh, the M20 is the uh, latest innovation from WFL, um, and it's the first uh, live launch of the machine here uh, in Milan this week. Um, particular features are that it's a uh, uh, traditional uh, mill turn with a main spindle and a sub spindle uh, and the B axis at the top uh, but also the, instead of a bottom turret we have a bottom spindle uh, which is able to work on either spindle uh, it has full B axis indexing capability and it has its own tool change magazine so we can actually change tools uh, into the bottom uh, spindle we can use turning tools, milling tools etc etc so the uh, limitations are just not there uh, we can do anything you like and add, added to that I see there's a there's automation on this type of machine but not just on this machine you, you can put lots of different automation solutions on some of the other machines can't you yeah so one of the other things that we want to major on is smart machining uh, and also linked to industry four so um, this machine encompasses all the latest uh, technologies from WFL, including the eye control. Um, we've got the gantry loading system, the in-feed conveyor system here for work holding uh, for parts coming in and out of the cell. Um, but also we've now uh, innovated with uh, intelligent tool holders, uh, which can uh, monitor in real time uh, tool vibration which enables us either to decrease spindle, uh, spindle and uh, cutting feeds or increase them uh, as the case may be appropriate uh, or if we've got dull tools it enables us to detect that early on and then bring in sister tools. One of the other innovations is the clamping systems. Um, as we all know that uh, when we're trying to grip small uh, thin walled components then the clamping pressure is critical to enable us to machine at optimum feed rates. Now when we increase the chuck speed from zero to five, six, seven thousand RPM, the chuck jaws tend to open, which means we lose the effective gripping pressure. With this chuck, we're able to increase the gripping pressure automatically uh, as the spindle speed increases. So if we set one bar, whether it's 1,000 RPM or 8,000 RPM, it's always one bar. Now, has that been designed because of uh, customer feedback uh, from, from previous machines in, in the field? Yeah, I mean, we're always listening to our customers' demands uh, and we're always listening to what their challenges are. Uh, and, you know, holding thin wall components is a challenge for all of our customers. Um, and so we've been in conjunction with uh, Rome, uh, who are also part of the Otania Group, and they've been developing this ch chuck along with WFL. Now, a machine like this cutting uh, very quickly with very hard materials, how does it cope with the heat? Uh, well, we have temperature control uh, sensors built into the machine, so we can monitor the environment that it's working in, uh, and uh, we can control the temperature uh, of the spindles, the spindle motors, uh, and the cutting tools. And when you design a, a machine like this, Simon, obviously there must be industry sectors that really would benefit from that. And traditionally, uh, WFL have always been into the aerospace market, the island gas. Is that basically what this machine's for? Um, we see here at WFL that um, we will still be able to sell this machine primarily to the aerospace and oil and gas markets where we've previously been strong uh, and continue to be strong. Um, and it will also give us the opportunity probably to break into um, some of the smaller companies um, whereby you know, M80s, M100s are just machines that are too big for their facilities, whereas this takes us into the more conventional uh, machining markets at the same time. And I think that's quite crucial because a lot of, a lot of uh, job shops, subcontracting companies, they, they are hitting new work, aren't they? And a machine like this is more, more than capable. And I, I, it, like most things, you know, they have to be in front of the game, don't they? And absolutely. And I think it means that um, our traditional customers in the aerospace and oil and gas industries that are predominantly using WFL machines for their producing their difficult parts and their hard materials, it now gives them uh, another machine from within the WFL stable 
that enables them to produce small parts using the same technology as they've been using on the large machines. And finally, Simon, um, for those engineers that may be interested to talk to you about this machine, what could you actually offer them? Can, can you take them over to Austria to, to demo parts, for instance? Um, we've got all the capability uh, available to us. Um, we're always happy to invite all of our customers to Linz uh, to see the machines in the factory at WFL and uh, we have a full team of applications engineers ready to demonstrate um, the key features that they want to see machined on their parts.